If you're a heat nourishing technician or even a salesperson, what is a super important moment in your life that you need to be aware of with an elderly client and why does it matter? This is a fantastic question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets, only perfect day to talk about sales and business and a fantastic day to talk about you. If you are a heat and nursing technician or even a salesperson, there is going to be a point in your life where you meet with somebody who is on their deathbed. And they are going to ask you for a favor. And I am going to ask you to check yourself before you wreck yourself. And if you agree to this favor, that you live up to it. So the first time this happened to me was like 2006. And I got called out to a house. And the dude was on his deathbed. And he said, listen, I'm not going to be here for this install. Please make sure that everything goes good. Please make sure to deliver everything you promised. Right? And the dude signed the contract. The next day he was gone. So what did I do? Showed up. Made sure the system went in right. Made sure the homeowner was taken care of. Made sure that everything was done and dialed in. Second time this happened was 2011. Similar situation. Homeowner is on his deathbed says, I'm trying to take care of everything for my wife. Please make sure this install goes smooth. I don't know if I'm going to be here. Guy was there for the install. We did the install. Two days later, wife calls me and says, thanks for your help. My husband died. So last time this happened was 2016, 2017. Office calls me and says, Scott, special assignment. We know this isn't what your role normally is, but here's what we need you to do. Go out, similar situation, similar circumstances, like, I can tell you this in content-wise, but nothing is going to prepare you for it, right? Be aware that there are times where someone says, I'm going to have to trust you. I'm not going to be around for my wife. I'm not going to be around for my husband. I'm not going to be around for my grandkids. Please do the right thing. This right here is why you should join my email publication. Just go to that URL, type it in, name, address, phone number. It's super easy. But there's going to be times where somebody comes to you and says, I'm going to trust you. Please do the right thing. And I'm going to tell you, with 100 degree certainty, if you take that challenge, you better, better live up to it. You better take it seriously and say, I'm willing to do that. Right? Because if you don't, the rules of cosmic justice are going to come after you. Right? You, you, somebody on their deathbed, like, I have this belief you should take care of people anyway. I have this belief that you should be honest and, and not lie and don't make stuff up. I have 100%, 100% belief in that. Right? I've got 100% belief in that. Don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal, don't make stuff up. But if, by chance, this happens to you, you can think back to this video. Say, like, I accept that responsibility, right? And if you accept that responsibility, I can't say this enough. Live up to that expectation. Because that person's like, I'm dying. Please, for the life of everything, for the love of everything, take care of group of people, kids, family, husband, wife, grandkids, I've had this happen. The last time this happened was for a neighbor. Neighbors were good friends. The dude was on his deathbed. Neighbor needed a system. Bought a system for his neighbor and said, please take care of my neighbor. The reason I bring this up is sometimes the things that we do in our industries are super tough, super difficult. And you never know whose life you're going to touch. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button. Click on it, and every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. Two, hit follow. Three, share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.